Alright, so trying to overclock my CPU again, my i5 9600K, I tried 5.3 and it did not hold at all, couldn't even load up Windows. I got to the, the screen where Windows is loading and it just didn't hold, so I'm going to try 5.2 again, but this time rather than 1.39, I'm going to try 1.36. Actually, I'm pretty sure 5 is probably enough. I might have to come back and try six, but only one way to find out. And can we get it to post? Sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera as steady as possible. So I got this because last time I had a fail. It's pretty normal. Now Windows should boot normally and I should be able to use navigate through this. And I believe it should be set to 5.15. But uh, I have to see. Okay, it's the furthest I made it. And I don't have very much of a temp whatsoever. Um, rather than doing a user PC benchmark, I'm just gonna open up a game. Cause that will be a much better test see if it crashes. Uh, try Call of Duty. And if this loads... Oh, of course, as an update, please only be a couple seconds. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's get MSI Afterburner up and going. Sorry. I thought that my phone stopped recording. Okay, MSI Afterburner up and going. No crashes. The GPU has no overclocking, it's an RTX 2070, and I do have a liquid cooler in case you guys are wondering of why my temps are so low. Try some Warzone. So the only way to tell 100% if you have no uh, CPU problems with the overclocking is to play for about an hour. If you can get through an hour without any crashes, uh, you are normally fine. You'll find some games, of course, don't allow overclocking, but most of the time it's not allowing overclocking for the GPU for whatever reason, like 7 Days to Die. I know for me on all my computers, the second I have an overclock over 100 MHZ, it will just crash immediately. So the CPU is sitting at a really solid percent. Let's see after we get an image if there's any crashes, any stuttering. Set to all low settings. Trying to play with one hand is going to suck, but 100%. FPS is setting quite good. 
the GPU sitting at 95%, if the CPU is 100% across the board, and the temp is 63. I've never seen it hit 100%, I'm quite happy. And the FPS seems to be quite good. I'm just curious on how much FPS I'm going to lose when I'm jumping from the plane. No crashes. None whatsoever. And 66 Celsius looks like the highest I've seen for my CPU, so that isn't bad whatsoever. Let's just try jumping from the plane and we can end it there. I'll try this out for a while. Okay, let me see if I can get CPU to max itself out again. 88%, 94, 84. Uh, it's not bad. Just kind of hoping to see all 100 across the board. I could get higher FPS if I overclock the GPU, although I will do that next. And no crashes whatsoever. There, 100% across the board. Not too shabby. Wonder if I can manage to play with my elbow. <laughs> and the top amount that I've seen has been 64. So yeah, I guess we can say that it's a pretty stable overclock. I tried out some more, but that's good enough for now.